Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP Lectures. We were discussing about the properties of discrete time systems for the past few videos and so far we learned about linearity, stability, invertibility and time invariance. In this lecture, we will learn another property which is causality. We will study the definition first and then see some solved examples so that you get a better idea on how to check for causality of a system. So let us start our lecture. A system is said to be causal if the output of the system at any instance n depends only on the present and past inputs and not on the future inputs. This definition, if written mathematically, then the output of a causal system should be an equation of the form y of n equal to function of x of n, x of n minus 1, x of n minus 2, etc. That is, only the present and past inputs. Any system which does not satisfy this condition is called a non-causal system. Now that you are familiar with the definition, let us see some solved examples on this topic. We are given a set of systems described by these input-output equations. We need to classify them as causal or non-causal. Coming to this system, the output y of n here only depends on the present input x of n and past input x of n minus 1. As you can see, no future inputs are present in the output equation. So, this is a causal system. Okay, coming to the system y of n equal to a into x of n. Here also, the output depends only on the present value of input x of n. No future inputs are present in the system equation. Therefore, this is also a causal system. Moving on to the third system, y of n equal to sigma k equal to minus infinity to n x of k. If you expand this summation, we get y of n equal to x of minus infinity plus etc plus x of n minus 2 plus x of n minus 1 plus x of n. Again, the output only depends on the present input and past input values, but not on future inputs. So, this is also a causal system. Next system is y of n equal to x of n plus 3 into x of n plus 4. Let us first analyze the input terms in the system equation. x of n here is present input. Coming to x of n plus 4, this is a future input. So, here the output at instance n depend on the input at the instance n plus 4. That means present output depends on an input in the future. Therefore, this is a non-causal system. Next, we have y of n equal to x of n square. Let us check the output at the instance n equal to 2. We have y of 2 which is x of 2 square which is equal to x of 4. So, the output at the instance n equal to 2 is dependent on a future input at the instance n equal to 4. That means this is also a non-causal system. Lastly, we have y of n equal to x of minus n. Here also, let us see what will be the input for n equal to minus 1. We have y of minus 1 equal to x of minus of minus 1 which is equal to x of 1. Thus, the output at n equal to minus 1 depends on the input at n equal to plus 1 which is 2 units into the future. So, this is also a non-causal system. Okay, 
that's all for this lecture in the next video we will learn about the next property which is memory if you have any doubts in this video feel free to ask them in the comments either me or some other viewer will surely help you out also if you found this lecture useful please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel thank you for watching properly and have a great day